Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy! You aren't going to trick me, are you? Okay, okay, right right here. And watch over Starry Mary, will you? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before. I swear that the kid is cracked. See, there she is again. I bet that tattletale goes straight to tell her olds. She wouldn't do that. What? Are you sweeting her or something? Go check out fronts already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. God, if there's this, this, this much talking, I'll be, I'll be scared. Because I have to do this in Rune Factory Oceans. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? Uh-oh. It's bad. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm she sorry, found the, He found a girl. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh... That girl over... Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh? That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> that was so creepy, man. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such sapiens must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. Uh oh, it's the red eye. He who would save this doomed world must die. That's not fair, he's a child. Oh well. It is like watching an anime. It's all Mom, it's just awesome. Help me! <gasps> Is she sleeping in the clothes? Or are they pajamas? They look like normal clothes. Uh, sweetie. Where are you? I'm not here. Oliver. She's not amused. Oliver. Don't panic, your son's disappeared. Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Yeah, she finally Oliver. cut onto it. Oliver! Mother's intuition, eh? By the way, Matt, I give you both. Uh, how would you listen to her, Purr? Ready? Take it slow to start with, okay? Yep, got it! Alright! If he could drive this, I'd be surprised. There we go, you got it! We 
of liftoff! Whoa! Uh oh, he's getting a beer boy race already. Get in there and save the kid. That was freaky. So dramatic. Philip, what happened? It's Ollie. You found the river. What do you think? He's in trouble. Oliver? Oliver, wake up! Uh, uh, Mom? <gasps> oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. This is weird. He's not in trouble. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? I just twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, Allie. Uh, Allie. Uh, Allie. What? Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? I'll fetch the doctor. Heart attack. Ah! No, this is depressing already. I don't want to play this game anymore. Can I close it? <laughs> Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom. You'll be okay. I know you will. It's your destiny. For me. Oh god, she's dead. No! No! Oh god, this is so sad. Mom! Mom! No! No! Don't leave me! God! Ghost. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? Drippy, of course. And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Let's see how the story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. It's going to be engaging. Right, so. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? I've seen this bit. <sighs> oh, so sad. <sighs> now, now, you'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. So Drippy must be an extension be of him. While Mummy's away, okay? Something wrong, sweetie? Hmm. 
just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Oh god, this is so depressing. This is so sad. <laughs> I was going to say, this must be drippy. <laughs> what the way to enter, eh? I'm free! Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um. Okay. What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right. And I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby, Bantinua. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is well, it's a new dog. What? I. Uh... Okay. Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? You pig. Oh, piggy. Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest. Anyway, stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, the whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by you in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shaddaa, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But uh... Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I... This oh, is scary too quick. You, what? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. I'm really... Because your mom dropped dead. Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. He must know what. Well, he's been in the time, hasn't he? But he must know what she looks like. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mam, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his 